Day three of the Sanford shooting trial and prosecutors brought out a key witness to this to the case. She was the friend on the phone with Trayvon Martin the night George Zimmerman shot him. With her testimony and testimony from witnesses, we joined the night team's Kevin Ozebeck. He's live in Sanford tonight. Kevin. Belkies, we were moving very quickly through testimony up until this afternoon. That is when Rachel Gentile was called to the stand. The attorney spent hours with her today because she is the last person who spoke to Trayvon Martin before his encounter with George Zimmerman. Rachel Gentile spoke to Trayvon Martin on the phone after he bought his Skittles and fruit punch. She claims during the call, Martin told her he was being followed. I said, oh, you better keep running. He said, nah, he lost them. But moments later, Gentile says she heard a man ask Martin what he was doing. She testified Martin then begged the man to leave him alone. Seconds later, the call was disconnected. George Zimmerman's legal team says her account of the story has been inconsistent. And when the defense asked her why she did not immediately tell police she spoke to Martin minutes before his death, she referred to a TV show. Do you watch First 48? They call the first number that the victim talked to. In other words, she expected police to call her. Gentile also got defensive with the defense. She even mentioned how Zimmerman's team had to reschedule a past interview with her. I'm sorry that you were inconvenienced, but we did not have the interview on Friday because of scheduling issues. Do you agree with that? You should have picked me up on Thursday. But through all of this, she never wavered on her belief that she heard Zimmerman attack her friend. Her testimony made Martin's father break down. In the morning, Martin's mother was the one who was crying. She became very emotional when Jane Serdyka testified. Serdyka lives in Zimmerman's neighborhood and believes in the seconds before Zimmerman pulled the trigger, she heard Martin cry for help. Like a you know, a yelp, it was excruciating. Um, I really felt it, it, it was the boy's voice. But during cross-examination, the defense said there is no way Sardika could know who was yelling help because she did not know George Zimmerman and she did not know Trayvon Martin. Testimony picks up again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Rachel Gentile will be back on the stand first thing in the morning because the defense is still in the process of questioning her. Reporting live tonight in Sanford, Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News 19.